Hey gang, it's been a while since I've actually done a video that uh, involved uh, chit-chatting and stuff. Oh uh, man, am I, uh... <laughs> My, uh... game room and office is a train wreck at the moment. And... Here. There's my game shelves. Total disaster. We're uh, putting some new flooring down a little bit and I have had to move everything and there's dust everywhere. So I'm trying to protect the games and put them away for the time being. But what I thought I would do is have a quick look at the latest edition of Roger McGowan's C3R magazine. He has a new ordering system, so when you go to uh, his website, you can uh, order directly on Amazon. Uh, you can uh, not order it through GMT anymore. And it's more a convenience, I think, and, a, and certainly a much more efficient and effective means of receiving the magazine because, A, it comes in a most fantastic set of packaging. Uh, you get this... Uh, Ziploc bag that's actually the right size for the entire magazine. It fits inside. Uh, the game and the magazine in the game all came in the one bag, and then that was in a box with uh, puffy bits around it to keep it safe. It was fabulous. So here it is. Let's have a quick look at it. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time on it. I had hoped to read the entire magazine all the way through cover to cover and give you sorry, my insightful comments on, on it, but I uh, haven't had time. Uh, just haven't had time. There you go. There's a little advertorial in the beginning here uh, that Dana Lombardi uh, has written about the uh, bicentenary of Waterloo and some product that they're selling in terms of bookmarks and coasters and coffee cups and bits and pieces like that. Nice little read. Uh, I read uh, some of Volke's uh, article in regards to the design and complexity of the coin system, and quite frankly, because I have not played, uh, you know, I got uh, lost about uh, halfway through the article. It was interesting, but I think unless you've played several of these games, you're probably not going to take a lot away from this article. But it is nevertheless a very interesting attempt to try and define the weight and complexity of the coin system titles, which I thought was very cool. And it's also a nice way to uh, advertise uh, the Falling Sky game as well. Uh, Lucas Brooks has a little commentary in here on Empire of the Sun and why he loves it so much. Cool little photograph. I enjoy making these pictures as well. You take a, a full color image, put a black and, black and white filter across it, and then erase and make the colors uh, pop out. Looks very sexy. Good stuff, nice, nice job. Brian Train's article, this interview here, was pretty interesting. I gotta get this Nicaragua game. It uh, looks uh, pretty fascinating, and uh, Brian's take on the world is certainly different. And I don't believe I've actually played any of his games. I do own Arriba Espana and one other title. Uh, and I have a couple of other games coming. Uh, the Green Beret game, I believe, from, uh, I think, from a friend. We're doing a trade. So this is a long interview with him. He's an interesting dude. I, I'm not sure whether he and uh, Volky get along or not together. Uh, maybe they do, maybe they don't. Doesn't look very happy here, does he? It's a kind of sad face. It's a, it's a Brian Train sad face. And there's Volky being his usual self. Well, uh, some advertising for, uh, for uh, whatever you call it, by Victus. <coughs> I didn't get a chance to read this article here. Can't really even tell you what it's about. Gamer Profile. This is a very sexy Italian gamers. They play in big places and have beautiful women presenting their awards and holding games that they'll never play. It's all very cool. Now, this is an article that I've started reading but have not finished. And there's the man himself, Mark Herman. Uh, it's an article in regards to Churchill, multiplayer design. So another article on des game design, which is very cool. I'm going to skip through that. It's fairly l another long, in-depth article. I mean, this is uh, every bit of a couple of thousand, three thousand words, maybe, probably more. 
Triumph and Tragedy, Tim Taylor's uh, Design Notes by, and Design Notes by Craig uh, Bersink, I think is how you pronounce that. I'll be interested in reading a little bit more about this as well. I think this game has kind of been a, a, a big hit amongst the multiplayer strategy game player guys who uh, enjoy, you know, blocks and cards. And I think it was also a surprise hit for everybody as well. I, I had not heard much about it. I think I saw one play test occur somewhere, maybe in Seattle. I'm not sure if I'm mixing games up. But fantastic. I'm really excited about it. And it's in interesting that it's, it's situated or, or, or set in 36 through 45. And that is one of the things I think that's interesting to me about World War II is the run-up towards World War II. We've seen a few games try and do that. Uh, some unsuccessfully. Okay, what is this here? Trials and Tribulations and Joys of Running, the greatest game company that ever lived. So, uh, book review by Sam Shiki. We'll have to pass on reading that for the time being. We'll get to it. I'll come back to you and tell you if there's something awesome. Uh, here's a uh, game player to game designer article in regards to Labyrinth. Another nice, long, thoughtful article, I imagine, by the looks of it. You don't put them at many words on paper and do a poor job of it. Uh, perhaps a response by uh, Volky. We'll see. Madison's War. Article. Sure, the Glory series. Bicentennial article, by the looks of it, or is that an ad? Nope, it's an article. Oh, and it's uh, photographs and the whole shooting match. Look at that. Very cool. Uh, the production of No Retreat, Italian Front. It's kind of nice to see behind the scenes of what's going on there. Very interested in having a look at this uh, Sparta's uh, Persian expedition. Two battles set in the uh, classic era. Very interested in all of that. And... Uh, Yep, so it's more on that. And then another C3I player uh, profile. Europeans are very organized, aren't they? Look at him there. He's all very organized. All right. Comes with a game. Oh, look, here's, uh, here's the bookmark they were referring to. I guess I'll put that out and put that in one of my history books. Comes with a game. I think everybody knows it's Plan Orange, Mark Herman's. Uh, it's a it's a look at a particular. I was reading about this oh some months back about the potential for the the Pacific World War the Pacific War in the uh, prior to it the, the prior to World War Two actually kicking off and what the U S plans were to deal with the Japanese threat even back in this uh, this stage so. Uh, be really interested to see what's going on with this. I know there's a little bit of a router that's already popped out. It's based on the e the Empire of the Sun system. <coughs> I have failed to play that game yet. I've tried twice, failed miserably. We have a bunch of counters here. We're going to try and give it a shot sometime very soon. There's a map here somewhere. And it's a full map too, not one of your little dinky magazine maps. This is the full, let me see if I can pull this guy out. All of uh, Pacific, I'll hold it up so you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. So it's basically the Empire of the Sun's map. A little less detail and goes a little less further than perhaps some of the uh, some parts of the Empire of the Sun's up and in and around Burma and India. But that's, there's that game there's uh, some stuff about wing leader. There's a what if scenario for Waterloo, which I'm very interested in. Here's the scenarios for the person, uh, the person ex expedition. Players notes on Pacific War. Got it. Here's the cards you'll need to play the Pacific War because it is indeed a card driven game. Sorry, not the Pacific War. The Plain Orange. Both sides cards. No C3I, no C3I, no uh, combat commander scenarios this time around for all the diehards. If that's why you buy the magazine, then you will have to wait for the next edition. I bet there'll be something with them. 
So there's Plan uh, Orange, game by Mark Herman, C3i Magazine number 29, another stunning effort, really well produced, great quality paper, uh, great writing in there, wonderful full uh, thickness of counters and high quality map, etc, etc. Everything done extraordinarily well. Thank you once again, Roger, for doing such a great job. I love you, dude. Take it easy, man.